Dude, you look so happy! Hi guys and welcome back to my Oxygen Not Included Let's Play. Today I'm gonna try something different. This is me live recording this and not doing the voiceover thingy. So, let's see how it goes and if my two brain cells can handle this. The plan for today is expanding the base upwards and downwards as well as to the left, relocating the water pool, I guess it's down here, taking care of the immediate needs of the dupes like some more food, some more oxygen, putting some insulation down here and whatever comes to mind. The first task for the day is planning our food production. We are going to need some more planter boxes, around 5 for each duplicant. But I'm just eyeballing it right here. Placing some floor tiles, making the room bigger and adding some more ladder tiles right there. Here's the voiceover version of myself talking. I put a couple of time lapses all over the video, so tell me down in the comment section if you like them or not, so I can keep using them or cut them out. <laughs> Guys, you might have seen it, but I did not interfere with the recording, so Ape fall down and now we have to get him up again. I think just replacing these tiles with some ladders will do the trick, but the duplicates will always find a way to get themselves trapped. So let's free Ape. Come on, Ape. Thank you. Now it's time to fill the planter boxes with some meal wood, so our duplicants have something to eat in the next few cycles. Come on, meal wood. Thank you. There we go. Future me speaking, in case you were wondering, it was enough food for all the duplicants. It is already time for some new printables. Mima got a green thumb and is very good at decorating. So I think we are going to take Mima because she can do our agriculture in the future and do all of our creative stuff. So Mima, welcome to the base. Now that we took in Mima, we have to give her some new priorities, which are decorating and of course farming. She also gets her skill point for farming and a little head. Trovaldo also got a new skill point, which I'm going to put in field research. While the dupes are still looking for seeds to put in the planter boxes, we are going to research some sound amplifiers because we want a smart battery and a code generator. How about relocating that water source to give the dupes more working tasks? Some of those digging commands could do the trick. It's downtime already. You can see uh, Mimar, Bird, Ape and Harold in their downtime but not Trovaldo, because Trovaldo is another schedule, as you can see here. Here we are in a brand new cycle and I think it's about time that we take a look at the oxygen levels. And as you can see, the oxygen levels in the upper parts of the base are pretty shit, because our airflow isn't very good. So, let's better our airflow and place one more of those oxygen diffusers down here. The airflow can be improved by placing some airflow tiles or some more of these doors. To place the doors, we have to get rid of the walls and we can replace those walls with some of these doors that let the air through. Also some more airflow tiles. After a short time lapse, the dupes quickly finished the job. By the way, the most important thing was placing the oxygen generators and not the airflow tiles because the pressure got higher and oxygen could spread better. Now that the dupes did what they were instructed to do, we have a better airflow around the base, we don't have to worry about our oxygen production for the next few cycles and we have a lot of food which can be harvested somewhere in the future. So now I'm going to place more digging commands all over the base that the dupes don't get idle again. This will be the new water reserve so we get access to this part of the base so we can dig up a lot of sandstone and coal as materials as well as some algae and get access to this teleporter receiver and this teleporter transmitter. I think I will find out what they do somewhere, somewhere in the future. You see me jump to the building process of the water reservoir right here. And as you can hear in the background, some dupe gained another skill point. Harold gained a new skill point, which I'm going to put in field research. Field research gives him plus two science, so he's um, a little bit smarter than before and is faster with his researching skill. While Ape and Bird are still building and digging, you can see Mima running the hamster wheel and Trevalo researching in the background. It's time for the big relocating moment, so let's dig up those tiles. The duplicants did their job and we got them nice and soggy. 
more research can be done. To use the code generator effectively, we are going to need the automation wire, because otherwise the code generator will run the whole time instead of only when you need some energy. The water is no longer blocking our path to the left, so we can expand our tiles and build to the left and downwards. As you can see, the duplicates are doing what they are told to, and also that this part of the base isn't oxygenated very well. That is due to the water that got removed. I've just noticed that we got some meat right here, and we don't want the duplicates to eat the meat because we can grill it and make barbecue out of it. So you can go to consumables and disallow them from eating the meat, so we can grill it up later, because it is stored in our hopefully still uh, unrefrigerated in our still sterile atmosphere, which it is not. So we have to place some more carbon dioxide in here. As you can see, Abe is still overjoyed because we pumped him with moral a couple cycles ago. Such a good little worker. Because our dupes built in a way that they trapped some water in here, I think it's a good idea to move it up and recycle it back to our water pool. So I put this to water. We got some more skill points to allocate. So Ape is going to get some hard digging because we need more diggers than just one. And Bird gets some super hard digging. Maybe we need that in the future. The next research is also available. So why not go for the insulation? Because we got access to the coal generator now, we can, after producing some refined metal for the smart battery, start the layout for the energy distribution for the base. So in order to do that, we need a rock crusher, which we find under refinement, if we would have researched it. I waited for the research to be done, so we can finally research the rock crusher and keep going with our energy production. Because the rock crusher isn't researched yet and we don't have access to the smart battery yet, I think we could use the time to spend it on the layout of the power chute where I place all the cables so the dupes don't have to see them. So I skipped ahead a little bit, this is my layout. These are places for power transformers which we haven't unlocked yet. There should go one of those sliding poles and the room doesn't have to be four tiles high because we can place more power transformers that way if you want to run a cable to the left or to the right. So as an input or as an output cable. Hey guys, we got interrupted by a care package. Take a look at Mary, she's such an awesome construction worker. Normally I wouldn't take in another duplicate right now, but I'm not going to let her slip. So print her. Hello Mary and welcome to the base. First we're gonna schedule you to the second shift and then set your priorities to building. Cut back to our power chute right here as it is being built. The research is done, so we can finally place the rock crusher. There we go. Hook it up to the power grid. And then we get access to the refined metals. There we go, the rock crusher is finished and now we can produce some copper from our copper ore. As the power chute is still being built, we have to wait for our delicate little memer to produce some of this precious refined metal. <laughs> Thanks to Mima's hard work, we have the required materials now to build a smart battery and hook up the coal generator to it. Also, we're going to automate it with an automation wire so that the coal generator only runs when it really needs to. I rearranged the park sign a little bit so that our ration box is in a sterile atmosphere again because the walls are a little bit higher and don't let the carbon dioxide fall off the sides. I let the dupes remove more of the materials down here so I have space for the coal generator. For the next research I want the dupes to focus on the advanced power regulation so we can get the power transformer and the heavy watt wires. Before building the power generator I want to expand the base a little bit more and wait for the heavy watt wire to finish researching. Our duplicates got back to digging again but we got interrupted by care package. We got another care package and I think this time we are going to take the coal so we can supply our coal generator for the future. The research for the heavy watt wire is finally done so we can focus on building the coal generator setup. So I'm going to place the coal generator right there, a heavy watt joint plate here and one line for the, our whole power supply. To save on some materials I reduce the amount of heavy watt wires. So guys this is my power setup. This is the smart battery which is hooked up to the coal generator 
via a cable and the cold uh, generator is set to 90% and the smart battery is set to 90 and 70. So every time the battery drops to 70% it starts the cold generator and it stops at 90% because the last animation takes a bit, little bit longer so it produces energy for a couple of seconds longer than it should. For the electric cable layout I normally have one heavy watt wire running all the way from down to up and on each floor where I need it I have power transformators sending energy through the cable to all the power consumers. Now we can deconstruct the rock crusher and place them down there. We also can deconstruct the manual generator right now because our power comes from the coal generator. But if we ever run out of coal, we want some manual generators to take over the job and provide us with energy. So I'm placing another smart battery down here and connect it to the manual generators. But the smart battery will get another threshold so they only run on it if the coal runs out. This is how the setup looks right now. We have all the cables connected and the automation cables. So if the coal generator runs out of coal and is not resupplied by the duplicants, we have to set the priority a little bit higher, I guess. Then the next smart battery will drop below its level and tell the dupes to run on the manual generators until the batteries are sufficiently full. I also had to rearrange the rock crusher again because it was in the way. We got the chance to choose from three more duplicants, Turner, Jean and Liam. We have a very weird combination in Turner, who is a loud sleeper and a binge eater, but gets plus seven to all attributes when he is stressed. So we can stress him and he will eat a lot, but he will be better at all of the different skills. But I think it's better we don't take in a duplicant right now and just take the fertilizer. I expanded the size of the lowest floor to increase the nature reserve and that the carbon dioxide can accumulate there. More research can be done and I think it's time to focus on ranching so we can resupply our coal generator with more coal produced by the hatches. As you can see we lost the room bonus from our nature reserve but we can get it back if we would place a pneumatic door somewhere around here I guess. Let's try this. There we go, we got our nature reserve back so every time the dupes come down here or from here to here they will get the moral bonus of plus 6 again. Let's try the same thing with the room where we lost our bonus and let's place some doors on specific spaces so most of the duplicants will have to run through it and get the bonus. This is what I came up with. As you can see our room bonus is back again and we have a lot of tiles left which we can dig up and it is still a nature reserve. Here we could place some storage units. I place some storage units. Normally I don't like to use them. I like to use the one tile storage but since we don't have access to that yet that's gotta do. If you are setting up your storage bin make sure to not store some of this polluted stuff because we want our polluted stuff in our specialized room. So make it like sweep only all and remove the polluted dirt and other polluted stuff. Copy the settings over and then you can place some sweep commands if you want to. We have a skill point available for Mima and Mima is gonna be our critter ranger. So she gets the critter ranging hat. All research can be done and I'm going for the animal control because of the incubator. Let's open up all those doors so the duplicants won't have to open them manually all the time. To improve the airflow in the base I'm going to place some of those airflow tiles all around but better at the corners. I think that's enough. The barracks look pretty empty so why not place some hanging pots in there with some bluff briar to make the room prettier. As you can see all the... where's the button? As you can see all the green spaces have positive decor and the red spaces are negative decor. So we want this to be really green. Not like this. To prepare the barracks for another loop, I need to get rid of this tile, place another cot there, we can have another hanging pot and we can place this as a ceiling or as a floor for the recreation room. So we have more space we can use. Bird is doing his job and as you can see it took the duplicants a while to dig up all those tiles but it took them an even longer period of time to sweep up the mess they left behind. As you can see we are at cycle 24 right now and when the duplicants will be finished we are at cycle 25. After removing all the clutter one more cord could be placed. 
the barracks are finally done and this is how they look now. We have positive decor here and another cot for more duplicants. I also had to rearrange the door right there. We have the chance for another blueprint so let's take a look at it and take the nutrient bars because we don't want any other dupes right now. We also have more skills to allocate. Mary can be another hard digger because we are going to expand the base more. Travaldo can be our cook in the future. And Harold. Oh, Harold is gonna be our atomic researcher. Nice head. Since we made Travaldo our cook, let's increase his priority of that. And decrease the priority of everyone else. It is about time to keep the heat out of our base and to prevent it from seeping through the walls. So I placed some commands for insulation tiles from the top here down to there. To prevent our dupes from lazing around I placed a lot of more digging orders and some more insulation tiles to keep the heat out of the base. Now it's time to dig down and get some materials. I forgot a door there. I set the priorities of the outer insulation a little bit higher than the rest. I totally forgot to deconstruct this. Let's go ahead and just rip it apart. Here we are back to excavating all the sandstone and dirt. Briar seeds, yes. And more skill points for bird, super hard digging and ape. How about super hard digging? Now that we have more duplicates with an appropriate amount of digging skills, the task of digging out the basement should be done much quicker than before. Even though a lot of the time the duplicates have to climb up the ladder to recapture their breath, they are working in a carbon dioxide atmosphere. Hey, apparently there was some slime hiding under there. We have to put it right there. So it doesn't off gas anymore and produce more of this polluted oxygen down there. Let's recap what we built today. We made our barracks fancier, expanded our food production, stored some stuff, made our food storage more reliable. We built a power shaft so we can keep everything organized and we don't have to see the cables on each floor. We did the smallest amount of automation to make sure that the power generator is only running when it needs to and if it doesn't we have the manual generators for some emergencies. We relocated the water pool from there to here as well as dug up a lot of materials which we can use in the future. So everyone, if you have an opinion towards my experiment, share it in the comment section, whether it is positive or negative feedback, so I can improve myself on the next videos. Also, if you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel so I can get to 1000 subscribers and I can finally use the community tab to keep you guys informed of what I'm up to. Also, I would be able to use the poll system to ask you guys what you would like to see next. Love you and Luma out.